incredible new fossil finds. Welcome to Throwback Thursdays. Number 10. Siberia has been the site of many incredible fossil finds, but this one was a first. The single fossilized leg bone of a parrot was discovered on an island in Russia's Baikal Lake, and it's been dated at up to 18 million years old. It's the first time a parrot fossil has been discovered in the region. It suggests the tropical birds were once widespread in Eurasia, and may have migrated from Asia to North America via the Berenia land bridge that once linked the two continents. Number 9. The rare skeleton of a prehistoric swordfish was found in a rural town in Queensland, Australia. The fossilized remains are estimated to be more than 100 million years old and belong to a swordfish-like predator that measured 3 meters long and had monstrous teeth. Experts consider this to be an extraordinary find because the specimen is so complete and includes the skull and long front fins. Number 8. Now here's a fossil find that truly is incredible, but for all the wrong reasons. In 2015, it was discovered that cheap bricks were being made from priceless fossils dated back to the Triassic Age. Guangzhou, a fossil site in China, is an unprotected area and has been mined for materials to make bricks that are laced with coal and often sell for as little as a penny apiece. Many fossil-rich areas have already been destroyed due to development because too little protection is afforded these areas until it's too late. Researchers have pushed for Guangzhou to be lodged with the local government for consideration of protected status. Number 7. Researchers discovered bacteria off the west coast of South America that were living in deep sea mud. The living bacteria appeared to be identical to microscopic fossils found in the rocks of Duck Creek, located in Western Australia. Those fossils date back over 1.8 billion years, leading researchers to believe the living bacteria found in South America could be at least that old. But the bacteria are thought to have survived unchanged by extracting sulfurous compounds from sediments that were laid down over 2 billion years ago, and that might prove a better estimate of the microorganism's age. Number 6. Last Impressions Experts have found impressions of a dinosaur's skin in a muddy riverbank in Spain. Two detailed skin impressions of a massive dinosaur were found, and the other measuring 5 centimeters, but both are believed to be from the same animal. The fossil is thought to have belonged to a titanosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period, around 66 million years ago. It's thought the dinosaur left an imprint of its large scales when it rested in the mud. That region was covered with sand over thousands of years, and it petrified to form sandstone. The sand then acted as a mold. This is one of the few samples of fossilized skin ever found, and it may have belonged to one of the last, if not the last, last European titanosaurs. Number 5. Scientists have gotten some new insights into the brains of dinosaurs, and it's thanks to a seemingly ordinary brown pebble found on a beach in southern England more than a decade ago. Paleontologists have discovered the pebble is actually the rare fossilized brain tissue from a dinosaur skull, one that lived during the Cretaceous period over 130 million years ago. Scientists from Oxford and Cambridge universities think it belonged to a large herbivore related to an iguanodon. They were large herbivores with long tails and hind legs longer than their forelimbs, and their brains had distinct similarities to modern-day birds and crocodiles. The find is extremely rare because soft organs like brain tissue normally don't survive. In this case, it's believed the animal died in a swamp. Its head probably landed in water that provided an environment that was both highly acidic and low in oxygen. The creature's brain was essentially pickled and preserved. Number 4. Conical structures called stromatolites found in Greenland may have been shown to be the oldest fossil of a living organism on Earth. The series of minuscule shapes were created by prehistoric bacteria and have been preserved in sedimentary rock for 3.7 billion years. Stromatolites are layered structures that form in shallow water as mud and sand are glued together by microorganisms. They provide evidence that complex life was already thriving at early stages of the planet's history. Geologists found these 
these stromatolites embedded in a metacarbonate rock outcropping on the southwest coast of Greenland. They measured between 1 to 4 centimeters high. The new discovery predates the previous oldest known evidence of life by over 220 million years. Stromatolites can still be found today in certain shallow coastal and volcanic regions. Number 3. The oldest fossilized evidence of insects mating was discovered in China. The fossil exhibits the couple in a face-to-face -face position and was found in the sediment of a lake in Inner Mongolia. Experts think the insect's antics date back around 165 million years ago. It's thought the two were interrupted when a volcano erupted, releasing toxic gases that killed them. The wind blew them into a lake, and there they lay buried and protected by sediment for millions of years. Scientists claim that only 40 such fossils of insects copulating have ever been found worldwide, making them extremely rare. And this one predates the oldest known fossil by some 65 million years. Number 2. Welsh Dragon Fossils of a new species of dinosaur dating back around 200 million years were unearthed in Wales, and it's believed to be the world's earliest specimen of a Jurassic-era dinosaur. This creature doesn't have wings or breathe fire like the Welsh national symbol, but it is the first dinosaur fossil of a meat-eating theropod found in Wales, and its well-preserved skeleton was found on a beach spread across five slabs of rock. Several loose blocks contained sharp claws and curved, raised a sharp teeth. The so-called dragon was a small, slim, and agile creature that measured around 50 centimeters tall and 200 centimeters long. It had a lengthy tail that helped it balance itself and walked on two legs. Experts believe the unnamed theropod dinosaur was about the size of a dog and had a fuzzy coating of proto feathers to keep them warm. Despite its diminutive size, the creature is thought to be a distant relative of the Tyrannosaurus rex. Number 1. Have you ever heard of a dinosaur called Do You Think He Saw Us? Well, that's a play on words, of course, but scientists have discovered a dinosaur that was actually able to change its skin color, Cetacosaurus, meaning parrot lizard. The creature is named after its parrot-like beak and was about the size of a Labrador retriever. It lived in northeastern China over 130 million years ago and was a relative of Triceratops. Analyzing well-preserved fossils, a research team in the UK found that Cetacosaurus used camouflage called countershading. It's a pattern that conceals shadows on an animal and can make it appear flat and inconspicuous, leaving their predators baffled. The animal likely developed the ability due to its smaller size, making it overly attractive to predators. Did you know that when scientists reconstructed an image of this dinosaur, they thought it resembled E.T.? Would you agree?